Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video, but uh, I received this product in the mail. I purchased this. This is a inexpensive, just a little four-foot telescoping pool skimmer from Walmart. It's, I think, like 10 bucks or 12 bucks or something. Um, free shipping. It's a cheapie. And the reason I decided to make a video on this is because when I pulled it out of the box, actually, some of the metal uh, connection that goes in where the actual uh, net connects to it with this pin right here, the metal inside here, uh, in this, the end of the pole, was actually crimped. So I just hand, you know, just pulled it out by hand. That's easy enough. But that wasn't what I didn't like about it that I wanted to share with you guys. So. This is hopefully a quick fix for you if you like it. Um, I've started the process of fixing it. What I didn't like about this was that right here where the two connect, this was completely wobbly off of the pole. It was wobbling. It was just it felt just cheap and terrible and didn't give you any control on that. When you, you know, it, it sort of has this, it, it almost um, sagged under here, if, if you will. Um, just loose in the socket back and forth between these two parts. So what I did is I decided that I wanted to fill in that gap so it wouldn't shake anymore. And I thought, okay, I need something that it, water can still drain through here or whatever, probably, but <clears throat> something that'll kind of close that gap. So what I came up with is this little, and I'm not done with it here yet, but I've started the process. And what this is, is basically just a gasket for a hose. They sell multi-packs of these at the store. The probably Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever you guys, you know, wherever. And I've just, all I did is I didn't like that this part and this part were completely wobbly. Um, and so when you go to use that in the pool, that's kind of, could be annoying. So it doesn't wobble now. Um, maybe that's an easier way to see it. Now I'm going to have to finish cutting off this piece up here. And I'm going to do that um, in a minute, but I just wanted to show you guys that that works pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So, essentially, what I'm going to do is try to finish up the process here of um, cutting that part off. And hopefully you guys can see while I do that. I'm going to set the camera up right there, and I'll try to finish this up here. Okay, so the idea is to just sort of push it up. Sorry, I'm a lefty. The idea is just to sort of push it up through here, obviously without poking yourself. And the further you can push it up there, the better off you'll be. So this should eliminate the wobble. I don't know if I can get it up in in, in there any further, but I'm going to try. Just kind of shove it up into the housing. And that should really help the uh, help it from being so, uh, you know, just sort of dodgy there when you use it. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm going to be able to take that. I'm going to trim that off. And then I'll try to shove that last piece down in there. I don't know. Maybe I could get some more in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can take another piece and just sort of jam it down in there just to give it a little bit of extra. Now this is kind of cheap plastic. Um, this is not the highest quality pool skim. It's not a, a full-on, um, you know, pool net. It's just for the leaves on leaves and stuff like that, and little debris on top. So keep that in mind when you're pushing on it and cranking on it that it uh, could crack on you. Of course, I suppose. It could crack anyway, just from the wobbling back and forth. But mostly it's just annoying when you're trying to use it. So 
So just kind of work that down in there, and eventually you'll get it. And that's kind of a, you can see it's clean all the way around. And most importantly, when you're using it, it should work fine. And certainly it's not perfect, but you can't see it. It looks clean, and it should eliminate the wobble. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, again, I bought mine at Walmart and it just comes in a box about this size in two pieces and you just put it together hopefully yours doesn't wobble like this one but if it does uh, maybe that would be a, a good workaround all right thanks a lot have a good day YouTube happy Memorial Day take care